Big changes are around the corner when it comes to the temperatures today. The middle 70s felt gorgeous and a lot like early September. We go into Friday, however, we'll be 20 plus degrees colder, just barely cracking the 50s, freezing weather likely. So enjoy the warmth while we have it because a couple days from now it looks looking a lot different. Currently, temperatures have cooled off slightly as we get closer to sunset, but still low 70s. A few spots like Dixon at 76, almost like a hint of summer in the air. We'll continue to hold on to this warmth for the next couple hours of this evening and for the next couple days so that warm weather doesn't go away immediately. High pressure is going to keep everything quiet and clear tonight. It does drift off, so some of the cloud cover you can see across the Great Plains of the Midwest that starts to drift in tonight. Not as sunny tomorrow, but we still have that warmer airflow, so that's going to keep temperatures afloat for a couple more days, but you can see there are some hints of change on the horizon. Some showers moving across Minnesota and Iowa. Now uh, these will eventually get close to us as we go into late tomorrow evening. First cold front arriving at that point. Uh, the major cold front though with all that cold Canadian air that's going to sweep in by Thursday. So next couple days we'll start to see things slowly change. Next few hours though, Pretty quiet. 60s as we approach sunset, 50s after that. So the warmth that we felt today uh, is going to keep our temperatures afloat. We're not necessarily going to see us dive straight down into the 40s like we can get at night sometimes with clear and calm weather. Later tonight, we will get into the 40s. Maybe not as brisk as last night with some spots getting into the 30s. So up about 5 degrees or so. Increasing cloud cover expected. So looking a little cloudy tomorrow. But again, we keep the warmth around similar temperatures to what we saw today. All thanks to those southerly winds sticking around. May see some sprinkles late as some of these cold fronts start to enter the picture. We'll track that now on future track by about this point tomorrow looking at very hit or miss uh, light isolated drizzly showers. You can see future track really not showing us much, but still won't be surprised if we get a couple raindrops uh, between tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Then we go into Thursday, the more powerful cold front starts to make its presence known. Could have a round of light showers for Thursday afternoon, and that'll slide out by Thursday evening. Should be done by Thursday night, and by that point, we'll really start to feel that colder air. You can see again, we're staying into the 70s tomorrow, and then near that point once we go into Thursday. But then that cold Canadian air catches up with us. 30s by Friday morning, barely into the 50s by Friday afternoon. We have a cold start to the weekend then with highs in the upper 50s under a sunny sky, but then we rebound from there, maybe back into the 70s once we get to next Tuesday. So they're not done yet. They just go away for a little while. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we will continue to have temperatures staying just a little warm into early next week before we cool back off again. So the fall roller coaster looks to be in full swing once we get into later this week, Brittany. All right, go ahead and find those jackets, Alex. Thanks.